Why, hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Story Mode and Shadowbringers. The battle for Lakeland is done, but I sense we are still going to be pretty needed out here. In fact, let's not waste time. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to help. You all right? Lena is gazing solemnly upward, and it's not difficult to guess what occupies her mind. Vothri's ship is already gone. How flattering that he came all this way just to give his little speech. I apologize for my earlier outburst. Rest assured, I have no intention of allowing any of my wounds to affect the performance of my duties. Especially not now. If I may, could I ask that you seek out Thancred and Minfilia for me? They endangered themselves on my behalf. I would feel better knowing that they are well looked after. Thancred, in particular, sustained quite an injury from that Sin Eater. I would not be surprised if he were in Spagyrix still. Spagyrix. I'm going to look that word up. I think it's Spagyrix. We're going to go with that. I would not be surprised if he were in Spagyrix still. Please, give him my thanks. You got it. You, be safe and sit tight. Make sure someone gets you back safe. Okay, let's check on Thancred. Thancred! Thancred, I learned how to pronounce this place. You okay? You good? Need anything? Oh dear, we've never seen so many Sin Eaters before. We must make ready to receive the wounded. I'll leave you to it. Are you... all right? You're here from me. I'm sorry to put you to the trouble. I'm fine. Really. The Eater landed an unfortunately solid blow, but the healers here have done wonders. I'm more worried about Minfilia. She's not taken it well. Could I ask you to speak with her? My attempts to reach out seem to have had the opposite effect. She's gone off to the Hortorium, ostensibly to fetch herbs for Chesameel, but... Just talk to her, will you? You got it. It'll be my pleasure. I'll go find her. I don't know for sure where that place is, you said, but I'll find it. Manphilia! Oh. There you are. So this is that place, he said. I like it here. Minfilia appears to be lost in thought. Perhaps a gentle poke will get her attention. Ah, uh, hey. Buddy. You good? <laughs> oh, Dermon. What are you doing here? Thancred just sent me looking for you. Thancred. It's my fault, you know. I jumped at the chance to help Lena, but I was careless. And now... It's my fault. Hmm. You can make up for it by being there for him. You'll be wanting to get those herbs for the healers. Both true. Let's focus on the task. Oh, what have I done? I promised I'd be right back, and yet here I am. I know that I need to be better. I'm only allowed to be a part of this because I'm Minfilia, and I need to be more like her. All I do is make mistakes, put others in danger. But you're right. I can still help, if only by seeing these herbs safely to Chesamiel. There are only two left on the list, but I'll need to ask about this one. I've looked high and low, and I can't seem to find it anywhere. Would you mind collecting the other? I would hate to delay any longer than I already have. You're looking for something with soft leaves that's very fragrant, in an unmistakably medicinal way, I was told. We only need two sprigs or so. Once you've got them, you can bring them directly to Chesamiel. Whoever gets there first can explain that the other will be back shortly. Thank you. I appreciate the help. You got it. Let me go a looking. We've got a verdant herb. Don't know if that's quite it. Might as well check, though. This plant has soft leaves and smells strongly medicinal. Hey, found one. Great. 
couple others here. Not sure which it is. Might not matter. This plant has no scent whatsoever. Unlikely to be the herb Chesamiel asked for. Maybe this one. This plant has rigid leaves and smells of fruit. Unlikely to be the one asked for. Yep. All right. Let's, uh, there's some more up there. Let's try. This plant has soft leaves and smells strongly medicinal. Fantastic. Got him. All right. Let's get these delivered. Chesamiel, I fetched. Y'all good? You know what? This is more important. I fetched. Ah, Minfilia told me that you'd be bringing the rest. I sure got him. A potent medicinal herb that very much smells the part. So named for its pointed leaves. Marvelous. With this, I can replenish our store of medicines. We're struggling to keep up with the number of wounded that are being brought in. I wasn't on the field, but it doesn't matter. The patients' faces make plain that it was a horrible battle. And we're still fighting it, I suppose. Though with bitter medicine rather than sharp steel. But we'll win. I promise you that. That is comforting to hear. It seems that I owe you an apology for dragging you to yet another battlefield when you've just come off the front lines. In both cases, I'm sure your efforts saved more than a few. With Spagyrix in good working order, the Crystarium's people will be well cared for. More lie ahead, of course. Battles only you can fight. Not that we intend to let you do it alone, but that's a matter to discuss with the Exarch. You know the Exarch? We do. Was there something you needed? I need you to tell him something. For me. My dearest friend, you see. He was there on the battlefield with me. But only the one of us is here to speak of it. At the end, before the wound killed him, I heard his dying words. I never knew that our world was this beautiful, he told me. I'm so glad that I got to see the night sky. I don't know how the Exarch feels about what happened out there. I don't know if what Vothri said is true, if our losses were our just deserts and we doom ourselves to worse by continuing to fight this fight. But I believe in the Warrior of Darkness, in the Crystal Exarch. I don't think what they've done is wrong, and I don't think we're wrong to fight with them either. My friend, he smiled in the end just as he smiled when he raised his glass to celebrate the return of the night. That's how I want to remember him. So I... I want to tell the Exarch, don't give up. Don't give in, please. We'll tell him. You have my word. It's gotten pretty bleak out here, but it is nice seeing some hope still amongst the bunch. If only the others had been as fortunate as I. But there's nothing for it but to continue the fight, is there? I suppose you're right. If I were stronger, how many people would still be alive? That's kind of a dangerous thought trail to go down. Maybe best to stop. Don't worry about the wounded, sweetie. We'll make sure they do not want for care. Glad to hear it. Thancred seems keen to quit the infirmary. If you're ready, why not go on ahead to the ocular? You can keep the Exarch company while I fetch Alphano. Don't worry, I mean to borrow the swiftest Amaro I can find, so we shouldn't keep you long. Be sure to pass on that message, huh? Will do. Let's go do that now. Can I go in, please?
So, how are you doing? Haven't checked in on you yet. Welcome, my friend. Tales of your heroism on the battlefield precede you. Though, I confess, I found them more gladdening than surprising. I hear no few of our people have you to thank for plucking them from the jaws of death. Would that they had not needed saving to begin with. But the responsibility for that lies with me. One of our soldiers said that. Thank you. Rest assured that I fully intend to continue our work. I will not shrink from what must be done, now least of all. Though I mourn the loss, I will not lose myself to grief. And even should regret be my constant companion, I will follow the path I've chosen to its end. Glad to hear it. I will also. I would love to talk, though. We have some time before the others arrive, if you would like to talk. And if I were to confess any doubts I might harbor, no one need ever know? No, I believe you have enough burdens without my adding to them. Nevertheless, thank you. My friends, with your aid, we have weathered a brutal assault. Oh, look who caught up. Sorry I'm late, though I would not have been had anyone thought to notify me in advance. As I was saying, it was only with your aid that we weathered this assault. Without it, the Crystarium and all who dwell here would now be gone. For each we saved, another perished. If there is anything else we can do to help, anything at all, you need only ask. This is our home too, and we want nothing more than to keep it safe. Thank you. We are blessed to have you with us. As for the attack itself, Vorthri may call it divine retribution, but Sin Eaters are creatures of instinct. A coordinated assault is unprecedented. Moreover, in the absence of a light warden, there should have been no compulsion for lesser Sin Eaters to congregate here en masse. All of which points to a single, unavoidable conclusion. That these minions of light answer to a higher power. He who did claim kinship with them, who did boast of control, not in idleness, twould seem, but in earnest. Lord Vorthry. Indeed. What I mistook for bluster was in fact the truth. The Sin Eaters are his to command. But if he imagines this show of force will convince us to bend the knee, he is sorely mistaken. I take it your meeting in Yulmor did not end well. You could say that, yes, but I am wiser for the experience nevertheless. It appears he has mastered a technique which allows him to enslave the minds of others, a fact I discovered when he attempted to use it on me. And that would go some way towards explaining the peculiar reverence afforded him by his subjects. There may feasibly be a handful of true believers among them, I suppose, but it would not surprise me if the vast majority were in his thrall. Had I not anticipated his treachery, I might well have joined them. But seeing his invitation for what it was, I sent a glamour in my stead. I rather doubt such tricks will avail me a second time, however. Did you have any luck tracking down the Light Warden in Calusia? Sadly, I have nothing to report on that front. What of Armorang? After a fruitless few days scouring ruins, I resorted to asking the locals. While no one I spoke to had seen any sign of the Warden, I did uncover a possible lead. An abandoned mine in Western Amareng. From what the Maud told me, it would be a perfect place to stay out of sight. Of course, I could never hope to explore such a labyrinth quickly or safely on my own, so I returned here. 
Even should we all join in the endeavor, an exhaustive search could take weeks, and with no guarantee of finding anything. The Wardens harbor vast reservoirs of primordial light, do they not? Far beyond anything found in lesser Sin Eaters. And isn't it true that the Oracle could see the light of a Sin Eater from miles away? Surely a Warden would seem like a blazing beacon by comparison! To the real Oracle of Light, I mean. The real Menphilia. If we travel to Armoren, to the south where she halted the flood, I could summon her back. What do you think? Don't. Don't what? Do what I can. What we both know is right. Do not presume to know my mind. You have no idea what you're proposing. But I do! I know why you never said anything. Because you thought you could keep me safe by keeping me in the dark. And maybe I thought so too. But I knew, Thancred. I always knew. Oh, I see. I thought you were a rather underwhelming reincarnation. But it all makes sense now. The Oracle lies dormant within you, doesn't she? But to draw on her true power, you must become one, both body and soul. To wit, one being must consume the other. Who shall be the lucky winner? This doesn't concern you, Asian. But it plainly concerns you. Which is why your heart is ready to burst out of your chest. Despite the raging tempest in your bosom, however, you have never once opened up to your young charge. Now why would that be? Love. Well, I for one think it's a marvelous idea. Certainly more promising than any of your other suggestions. So, it's off to Armorang we go. I'll meet you at the gates. Hmm. I'd like to hear everyone's thoughts on this. If this is the course you've agreed on, I'll not object. Though I am afraid it will be difficult for us to spare any of the guard to accompany you. I can but promise but that you will be well looked after upon your return. Just see to it that you do return, alright? Nothing you need to worry about. We got it covered. If I'd only been able to locate Calusia's Light Warden, it might not have come to this. You tried. I can't imagine what Thancred must be feeling to behave this way. To say he's changed since coming here would be an understatement. He may as well be a different person. He reminds me of... Ah, he reminds me of Father. He argued with us for months about our plan to go to Eorzea, but in the end, he accepted our decision. I do hope he's doing well. Y'all have not seen your family in a long time, have you? Haven't really thought about it kids out here just doing hero stuff for years. Well, months. I don't know how long it's been. No one really does, but still. Minfilia demonstrated impressive resolve just now. It seems that she understands what must be done, though I do wonder if she's truly prepared to make the choice. Should she falter, it will fall to Thancred to guide her, however much he wishes it were otherwise. Though Thancred hath long known whither this path doth lead, his journey hath brought him no closer to acceptance. It does seem that way. 
will you never grow tired of shuffling your feet? If you have something to ask me, ask. I will. Tell me about Zodiac. As I told you before, Zodiac is the creation of my people. The first people. We summoned him, as your kind might summon a primal, albeit an infinitely more powerful one. And like one of your primals, he tempered us. It was only natural. There is no resisting such power. And so we Asians came to exist solely to bring about the rule of darkness. His darkness. Of course, some would call us evil for it, and they would be fools. Though that is only to be expected, given their innate inability to conceive of the nature of our universe. But I believe I am repeating myself. Do you not trust me to speak honestly? Do you hope to catch me in a lie? Really? I have no need of deception, and even if I did, I assure you, you would find it quite indistinguishable from the truth. That is... probably true, actually. I'm sorry to be so insistent, but I know this is the only way. If you're willing to give me a chance, come with us. I will. I took that as a given. Although, actually, if we're about to go out on a road trip, maybe I should run by my room for a change of clothes. Be right back. There we go. That's better. Nothing like getting into some clean duds before heading out on a road trip. Okay. I'm ready to go when y'all are. Oh, excuse me. Sorry for the wait. I'm ready now. And you're sure you want to do this? I'm completely sure? Look, no matter what happens to me, I'm sure that I don't want to go back to being who I was. I want to be stronger. Strong enough to face my destiny. And I want to believe that I can play a part in saving this world. I hope you can find it in yourself to believe it, too. But when you put it that way, how could we not? It is your decision to make. Just be sure that you are prepared when the time comes. If all are assembled, shall we depart? We'll follow your lead. What route would you have us take? Now about that, there's something I neglected to mention. I saw a Yulmoran airship coming in to land over Amarang while I was on my way back to the Crystarium. No doubt the same vessel that bore Vothri's forces to Rektika. Meaning we can expect to encounter armed resistance on our journey through the region. Right. Now, Nabatharang lies in the southern reaches of Amarang, and there are two routes we can take to get there. The first is the eastern route, which would lead us past Mordsuk. The other is the western route, which would require us to pass through the hills of Amber. Minfilia and I took the eastern route last time. Yes, that's the more well-trodden path. It also makes for easier traversal of the Nabath Severance but we can't use it. If we did, we'd need to cross the Severance from a point nearby the inn at Journey's Head. If the Ulmorans caught wind of our approach, it could very well bring them into contact with the inn and its patients, and we can be sure their activities would not meet with Valthry's approval. It'll make the journey more arduous, but I believe it would be better to take the western route, which brings me to my proposition. While you make for the Hills of Amber in the west, I'll draw the Ilmorans' attention elsewhere, to an area in the east that I know to be uninhabited. That way, you'll have a chance at reaching Nabatha Ring unopposed, and without risk to civilians. Hmm. I cannot deny that it's a sound plan, but nor can I allow you to go alone. My skills will make your task at least somewhat easier, will they not? I will accompany you as well. It'll afford us a chance to have a proper conversation. 
And if I go with the others, I'm likely to say something Thancred will regret. Well then, we'll leave the work of distracting Valthry's forces to you. The rest of us will take the western route and try to avoid attracting attention. With that in mind, I think it best that we follow the road from the bridges. We'll move faster with a solid path under our feet. We'll borrow a few Amaro for our own journey. I leave the rest to you, Minfilia. Thank you. I'll try not to disappoint. And break. Y'all stay safe. All right, then. I better go catch up. Boy, it is a pretty day out here today. Love how this forest looks on a nice, clear, regular sunny sky. Gorgeous colors. Where is everybody? Oh, they're down this way. Huh, neat. Okay, guess I better be heading more southward. Everyone. There you are. Good. Would that we all had thy surety of purpose. We'll need to move quickly. The longer the others need to keep the Ulmarans busy, the more likely they are to be caught. That is a very good point. You ready? There you are. The gate leading to Amarang is just up ahead. In all the time I've been here, I've never ventured into the Hills of Amber. Not that I'm particularly intimidated by new lands at this point, but we have more than enough reasons to be cautious as it is. Keep an eye on Minfilia for me, would you? No need to ask. I got you covered. Come on, Claude. We're going back to the desert. Not 100% sure how much you'll like it there. It's kind of like a beach. Eh, you'll be fine. And there's the gate, I assume. Who shall walk among us upon our return, I wonder. Thinking very somber, melancholy thoughts, bud. Let's try to cheer it up a little, huh? Amarang lies just beyond the gate. We need only speak to the sentry. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do. Off so soon, Master Dorami. You've barely had time to recover from the battle. That is common, don't worry. Well, if you're certain, I'm hardly in a position to question you. Take comfort in the bonds you share. Accept the pain when the time comes to part. Press on, for joy and sorrow walk hand in hand. Beyond Mount Garik lie the hills of Amber, beneath which run hidden veins of mineral wealth. Or ran, at least. Mayhap they are spent. Or mayhap the ringing of hammers can yet be heard below. Yes, now we get to see the other half of Amarang. And the iguanas within. They're very orange. Kind of cute, but still teeth. Sorry, Claude, I promised you deserts. This is a canyon. I'm pretty sure most crabs are not native to canyons, but we'll make it. Sound, though, Mistress Alice's logic was. I fear the road less traveled hath other perils in store for us. That is certain. A village so near. How convenient. This place has been scarred by the flood, too. Who can say what lies ahead? 
but whatever else this road may be, it is mine to travel, and I don't plan to take a moment of the time I spend upon it for granted. You have found some resolve, you have. Proud of you. Well, let's hit the road. Thancred is gazing with interest at the nearby village. I take it you're seeing what I'm seeing. Finding a village when we're hardly ten paces into the hills is a surprising stroke of luck, especially given our recent fortunes, but you won't hear any complaints from me. Let's see if the folk who live here can tell us what to expect from the road ahead. Great plan. Claude and I will be right behind you, just as soon as I navigate around Teeth Iguana. I wonder how inhabited this place is going to be. It seems in decent condition. Ah! Hooray! More mords. Excellent. You sell? No. No, you are no merchant. But then, why do I know your face? Hmm... Oh, I remember! You spent Vobert gold! That is true. Such a coin purse cracking! You are already a legend among more traders. You are a traveling merchant, then. Can you tell us anything of this village? Of course, anything for valued customers. This place is Garik. Before the flood, it was home to many miners. After, not so many. Now, none. So, Master Gengen borrowed the village, made it into a trading post. Very convenient location. In which case, you all must be familiar with the local roads, correct? We're on our way to Nabatharang ourselves. If we continue south from here, will we have any difficulties reaching it? Oh, yes, great difficulty. The flood rent the stone and crushed the mine surrounding Nabatharang. Only steep cliffs and collapsed tunnels remain. Oh no. But surely there must be some way. Do you think any of the other Mord might have some sort of hidden route? Perhaps. You ask, they tell. Tell for free, even, to friends of our best customer. I have quite the reputation here. As you can see. Wonderful. Thank you for your help. Well then, best customer, let's see what information your reputation buys us. Let's do. I will not turn down the opportunity to talk with more mords. Remember, Junjun, next time your pockets grow heavy with coin, yes? I shall. I'll remember Junjun and difficult, challenging food. Gilgil, how are you? You are welcome to use our well. If you are planning to cross the desert, you should take as much as you can carry. That's good advice. Perhaps we ought to inquire upon the matter of Yulmoran forces in the region as well. That is smart. I'll leave that one to you. Real, real. You wish to go to Nabatha Reng? Hmm. There was a way, once. A gondola down from the cliffs, but it was built for those who had left something behind that they wished to retrieve. Now there is nothing left and no one to use it. You may search for it, if you like, but I doubt that its rusted wires would bear your weight. And that's saying something, I don't have very much weight. You hastily take down a memo regarding the gondola on a spare scrap of parchment. Thank you. How go your questions? If we're not lucky enough to encounter someone who knows a route to Nabatharang here, perhaps they can at least point us in the direction of others who might. Can I interest you in some rock wrigglers? Plump, juicy, and wriggly? No? Is there something else I can help you with? Um... What kind of place is this? Garik was once a mining town. Until all the miners moved out, that is. They were kind enough to leave their houses for us more to use. And like we always say, waste not, want not. As you can see, there's not much here, but a lot of people traveling to and from the Crystarium pass through. Mainly to rest or use our well. It is the closest thing this place has to an oasis. That makes sense. What do you do here? 
I'm what we call a middle mord between Twine and Crystalline Mean. Or the Crystalline Mean, rather. The Crystarium's too far away for most of the miners, so I buy their gemstones and ore and sell them for a higher price. I only sell by the crate, so if you're looking for individual items, try the other merchants. They have many goods for travelers like you. I appreciate it. Maybe later. We're kind of on the road. Trying to move quickly. Any luck? I've got it. I'll lead by asking how business is, then mention you, and then ask about the route. That should work, right? <laughs> Good tactics. I like your strategy. Let me know how it goes. Gone, gone. For Nabatha Ring, airship is best. Nothing's faster than an airship. The Omorans have one, I hear. You can ask them to take you. Mm, I don't know if that's going to help, Gongon. Gon. Though it seems somewhat superfluous to do so, you dutifully make note of Gongon's Gon words. <laughs> Can't imagine that's going to be the strategy we take, but... Doesn't hurt to take notes. Anyone else here that I could ask? Maybe inside. Hello. Best customer here. Shulsu. Oh, that is a surprise. Not many bound for Nabatha Ring these days. I do know of a trolley that once went there. It used to travel between all the settlements and mines of the Hills of Amber. It's locked behind a gate, however. I assume that will have kept it from being stolen or damaged. But it also prevents it from being of much use. You take down information regarding the trolley on a wrinkled piece of parchment before stuffing it unceremoniously back into your bag. Some good flavorful <laughs> descriptive text. I like it. Ah, Derman. I'm afraid I've learned little of use about how to reach Nabatha Ring. The Yulmorin presence, though, that's another matter. Apparently, though their army is definitely in Amareng, there have been no sightings of Yulmorins at all in the Hills of Amber. Perhaps we can take that as a sign that Alisay's plan has borne fruit. Did you have any better luck finding us a route forward? Maybe. Kind of. A bit of paper with gondola from cliffs. Potential death trap scrawled upon it. <laughs> a bit of paper with hills of amber trolley. Behind gate scrawled upon it. My notes are great. A bit of paper with airships. You'll more in presence confirmed. Scrawled upon it. Thank I took notes. Look. So, these are our options. Well, what do you think? I vote not the airship. We could try the gondola. Might die, but eh. Can we get an airship anywhere? But not from Vothri, obviously. Gate aside, the trolley seems most feasible. It kind of does. Slightly less chance for death with that. I like that. I think that's what I'm most excited about with the trolley. It does seem to be the least risky of our options, and I can't imagine one gate is enough to thwart you. I'd like to know a bit more before we dash off in search of it, though. Perhaps Junjun can offer some insight. Perhaps so. But I think we're going to need to ask next time, though, since we've got a nice little spot to stop and rest our feet, even though we just took, like, maybe 30 steps, but you know what, whatever. Have a good one, y'all. I will see you next time for some more Shadowbringers. Take care until then, and goodbye!